Hi everybody, this is Karen. I have been playing around in design space and I've figured out how to do my text knockout technique in design space without having to use a third party program. So I'm going to teach you how to do that now. First thing you need to do is add your text and I'm going to use Rudolph Reindeer. Once I've typed that in, I'm going to go over to my edit panel and I'm going to choose another font. I'm going to use Impact because that's a really nice thick font that works well for this technique. I'm going to drag out the text to make it quite a bit larger and then I'm going to decrease the line spacing so that there's less space between the top and bottom sets of letters. And the words that you want to use, you want to try to find words where the top and bottom line have an equal number of letters and where the letters take up a lot of the space. See, for example, the L and the P can be a little bit difficult because parts of your image will be missing if you put your image over there. So what you want to do then is make sure that your image is mostly in this area once you do your splitting. So before I do that, I'm going to center my text and then I'm going to go and get my image. I'm going to insert an image. I'm going to go look for a reindeer. And there's a very nice reindeer here. I'm going to insert that. This one has no layers, but if it did have other layers, I'm going to show you for an example. Um, let's take this one over here. I'm going to insert it. You want to make sure that whatever image you use only has one layer. As you can see, this has a lot of layers and some of them are hidden because look, the eyeball is crossed out. So to do this technique, you'll have to display them and then you're going to need to ungroup and remove all the layers you don't want. So here, this reindeer looks very good. Actually, I'm going to use this one instead of this one. It's quite a bit nicer. Um, so I'm going to delete all the Im all the layers that I don't want and I'm going to use this one. Because if you don't delete all those extra layers, the technique won't work. Oops, that's not what I wanted to do. What I wanted to do was take the reindeer and make him a little bit taller and maybe a little bit wider too. There we go. And you want to make sure that the image fits within the text. So once you've done that, draw a box around both your text and the image. Go over to your layers panel and click the slice icon. It'll take a second and then it will slice it. It will all be the same color. And what you do then is the top and the bottom layers, you want to change the color. So I'm going to change those to red so it really shows well you leave the middle layer the way it is. So I've changed those and now I'm going to go over here and I'm going to pull away these parts. You're going to discard this piece, the part where it looks like the letters are in white. You want the part that has the letters in a color. Then you're going to bring them over here and make them fit into your letters. And you can zoom in to make sure that you're seeing that well so that it fits really nicely. And you can see there is the image of your letters with the reindeer in it. So there you go. So I hope that's been helpful to you and thank you so much for watching. Please subscribe to my channel.